Welcome back to my channel, gorgeous. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about what the heck is going on with Kylie Cosmetics. If you guys have watched my videos before, you know that I am a huge fan of Kylie Lip Kits. So I always try to do a review when she releases a new lip kit. So for those of you who are huge Kylie Cosmetics fans, you'd know that she hasn't released a product from Kylie Cosmetics since last year. And that would have been in November for the holiday collection. Now it's very unusual for Kylie to not release new products. She normally has a Valentine's Day collection, a holiday collection, a summer collection. Um, she normally has Black Friday sales. She has Valentine's sales, St. Patrick's Day sales. And well, we haven't seen any of that this year. Nothing, zero. Haven't even seen product restocks. And there has been not one word from the Kylie Cosmetics Instagram page or Kylie Jenner herself, or even on the website for that matter. Now, if you take a look at Ulta, now Ulta has bought Kylie Cosmetics and sells them as you know. Well, maybe you don't, but now you do. Now, if you go to the Ulta website, you'll see this. Now, there's been, like throughout this year, there have been so many sales. Like, look at this. The Coco Collection lippies were five bucks. Purchase something of $25 and get this set of lipsticks from Kylie Cosmetics. Now we've got her concealer for $5, her bronzers for eight, her blushes for eight, and some lip kits on sale. And uh, her glosses, just everything. Her regular lipsticks were for sale, her eyeshadow palettes. You guys remember, if you follow me on Instagram, you may know that I've put up when she has sales every now and then. And I put up when she was doing a sale for Ulta through her nine pan shadows. They were like 12 bucks. Well, after that sale and they were all sold out, well, because they were on sale forever. And once they were gone, they haven't been restocked, you guys. And why is all this stuff on sale? You think, one, okay, well maybe they're just getting rid of product. You know, maybe it's going to expire soon, right? Eh, I don't think so. Because they would be getting rid of all of that product around the same time. And normally brands don't do sales of a bunch of products from that one company. So I decided to do a little digging and uh, well, I couldn't find anything. It wasn't until my husband was looking up some business things and he came across an article. In order for you to understand, you're gonna need a little bit of background information. Kylie Cosmetics first started in 2015 when it launched as Kylie Lip Kit. It did great. It sold out within minutes. Well, maybe less than a minute. Kylie Jenner later decided to change the name to Kylie Cosmetics. She expanded from lip kits to eyebrow products to concealers to blush to lipstick and ended up in quite a bit of controversy. If you guys remember the lipstick wand fiasco and the highlighter without the highlighter, those would just include a couple of the big, big things. However, Kylie Cosmetics seemed very popular and was very popular. Whether people were hating on her or loving her, her cosmetics line was a success or is a success. Well, you, you can decide on that. So in 2019, Kylie was named one of Forbes's youngest billionaires, which was later retracted um, because apparently numbers had been forged. So yeah, in 2019, Kylie Jenner decided to sell a majority of Kylie Cosmetics to Cody Inc. 
Now, Cody owns a ton of cosmetics brands. They've got a bunch underneath them. And Kylie owned 100% of the company. Now, Cody owns 51% and Kylie owns 49%. In doing so, she said it would expand her business to places all over the country, all over the world, you know, because Cody is so big that they are able to help her do that. She's only, she's only, I guess you, she would be considered a small brand, even though she's actually very large in the business world, her brand would be considered one of the smaller brands. So now that she's under Cody, it's a larger one. Kylie Cosmetics products are made at Seed Beauty. Now, Seed Beauty also makes ColourPop cosmetics and also KKW Beauty. So their formulas are all different, but they are similar. And they are all manufactured in the same building. Now each company, ColourPop, has their own list of ingredients for a liquid lipstick, like I said. And we'll take this one right here. Whew. So Kylie Cosmetics would have their own ingredients list and their own formulation. So of course the member or the owner of the brand, I should say, um, which in that case was at one point Kylie, she would need to know what was in her products and the formulation of it all, you know. It just looking off the ingredients list, you're not going to know how to recreate a Kylie liquid lipstick. Here's the thing. Kylie Jenner sold her company to Cody Inc. Okay? So, Cody Inc. is now the owner of Kylie Cosmetics. What does that mean? Well, it means that Kylie gave over the formulation of her liquid lipsticks and her other products to Cody Inc. Now, this is where it gets a little confusing or a little tricky. Because she did that, she was in breach of her contract with Seed Beauty. She's not supposed to give out any trade secrets, any information of that whatsoever. So, Seed Beauty is suing. Now, they have been suing. And I don't know if you guys remember back in 2020 when the lawsuit started, you might have seen some articles about it and then it just kind of disappeared, right? Well, so you see, this is where it gets really, really confusing. I'm not exactly sure where in that time or I'm speculating it might have just been that court being pushed back so far and everything. So that allowed Kylie Cosmetics and Cody to be able to continue producing products with meant Sea Beauty had to fulfill that until they were able to go to court, even though Sea Beauty may have already uh, started to sue them. Hey everyone, it's Editing Whitney here. Now, I wanted to point out one of the big reasons of why it would be such a big deal that Kylie Jenner would have told Cody the formula. Kylie Jenner and Seed Beauty have a contract, right? Well, Kylie sold Kylie Cosmetics, we all know that. So Kylie Cosmetics now belongs to Cody Inc. Well, Cody doesn't have any contract with Seed Beauty. Kylie does. So her contract, she's not supposed to tell the formulation or whatever, and apparently, what Seed Beauty is suing her for is that she did indeed tell Cody Inc. Now why that's so problematic is because now Cody knows how to formulate the liquid lipsticks, which means Cody could just go to any manufacturer and say, hey, um, here's what I want you to make for me, go ahead and make that for me, and they would whip it up 
for them. That means Sea Beauty wouldn't have that business anymore. They wouldn't be getting the Kylie cosmetic business anymore. That's why it's so problematic. Also, you know, she signed a contract, so yeah. So, <laughs> I'm not a lawyer. I'm not into legal stuff. I am not all sure on how a lot of that works, but that's kind of what I'm speculating because it would make sense as to why she was able to keep popping up products throughout 2020. And now it's 2021 and we have not seen anything. Also, <laughs> A quick Google search of Kylie Jenner will lead you to the Wiki Wikipedia pages, which you scroll down and it says the lawsuits that she's in and everything, and Seed Beauty is one of them. So, makes perfect sense. So for those of you who were speculating that it's because she's obsessed with her skincare line and she just wants to do that now, mm, no. I think she was just trying to keep quiet on that lawsuit and well they've been doing an excellent job at that but um, I guess, oops. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Are you surprised that this is happening at all? I have no idea where Kylie Cosmetics is going from here. I obviously, like I said, a lot of this is just speculation. Given from the information I was able to find online because Kylie herself hasn't given us anything to go off of. So yeah. Well, let me know your guys' thoughts on this in the comments below, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Later, freaks. Oh, if you like this video, be sure to like it, comment, subscribe, and share. See you guys in the next one. Later, freaks. So I hope you sing this all night long with your ripped up jeans and your high heels on. Hope you think of me in my LA home with my brand new thing in my ice all on. All the Saint Laurent won't get you what you want. If you tryna call me, leave a message at the tone. Said I hope you sing this all night long with your ripped.